state workers at the Flat River State Game Area in Ionia explore a deer at a mandatory testing area for chronic wasting disease in November, photo, John Barnes slash special to the Detroit News. A deadly disease that threatens to decimate Michigan's white-tailed deer population has shifted northwest from the Lansing area, some 100 miles, new test results show. All but one of the new cases of chronic wasting disease in the just-ended 2017 firearm season were discovered in free-ranging deer killed in Montcalm and Kent counties, 40 total, according to the Department of Natural Resources. One case was found in nearby Macosta County. That is far more than nine so-called zombie whitetails identified in Ingham and Clinton counties the two previous years. It suggests the always fatal disease has percolated in Michigan more extensively than previously known. It's clear that Montcalm and Kent have had CWD longer than Ingham and Clinton where we have identified it, said Chad Stewart, the DNR's deer specialist. What we don't know is the space between the outbreaks. In all, 50 cases have now been identified in Michigan since the first emaciated, confused deer was killed by police east of Lansing in 2015. Three others were found from two penned deer farms or ranches in Macosta County. Chronic wasting disease is unrecognizable yet still infectious in diseased deer in early stages. Its end stage leaves deer emaciated, listless, drooling, and unafraid of humans. Deformed proteins literally eat holes in the animal's brain. Infectious disease experts caution against eating infected venison. The 2017 deer hunting season ended Monday. On Thursday, the state will begin two brief limited hunting seasons to see if wildlife experts can connect the dots between the two outbreaks. The special hunts will run through Sunday and January. 11 to 14 in northern Ionia County and eastern Montcalm County in 14 townships, some 500 square miles. Any deer killed must undergo testing for chronic wasting disease. I am not expecting a lot of deer to be harvested, but if we are able to identify a CWD positive animal in this area, then it will provide valuable information to inform our management decisions going into next hunting season, Stewart said. The DNR will soon begin capturing and collaring white-tailed deer in the western Upper Peninsula as part of a multi-year study to review herd movement as well as detect if the disease is present. Limiting the spread of CWD is difficult, but even more so here in the UP, where winter severity results in increased deer movements and yarding behavior that concentrates animals, said Terry Minzy, DNR UP. Regional Wildlife Supervisor in a statement. A special task force, meanwhile, is expected to give recommendations January 11 to the State Natural Resources Commission on how to slow the disease that has devastated herds from Wisconsin to Colorado. Bans by the state against baiting and feeding in core disease areas expanded Monday. We want to see a serious discussion about baiting and feeding in disease areas where we want to prevent the spread of the disease, said Amy Trotter. Deputy Director of Michigan United Conservation Clubs, the state's largest such organization. Michigan United Conservation Clubs has opposed baiting and feeding in the past, saying it congregates deer and assists the spread of infectious disease.